I'm here with squad. Right, uh, right lads, as we've rehearsed, after three, one, two, three. Come on. Welcome to, welcome to his. How are you, mate? Welcome to another video. Welcome to another video. We've got, I mean, it shuts perfectly, but uh, and opens just fine. But just in timber case, we've got this because we don't we don't want to get found out and lose all our sheep you know so that's a classic belt and breeches and you know a lot of farmers do use these as belts and here i am me and my squadron of highly trained sheep i've gone a bit heavy on coloring i've cut yeah i've gone a bit mad on coloring because uh I just wanted to, there's been a few farmers stealing my sheep, so I just wanted to, the red ones are mine, stay away from them. That's it mate, once you become a sheep whisperer, come on, as I have been, I am, you can get them to do pretty much anything. Come on, come on, that's it. <laughs> oh, they're coming with me like, come on, let's go. Right, there's people watching me, they must think I've lost my... Lost me noggin, been locked down too long. <laughs> Turn this off. Right, let's 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 fast track it up there. There we are. Look at that regal, regal dude. Thinks he's Lion King. I thought I'd got back into shape during lockdown, but I'll tell you what, mate. The fells just hit different. You can't train for this, mate. You can't just. What are you gonna do? Just walk up and down your stairs at home. I live in a veil. I live in a veil which is just flat as a witch's tit. So I've got. There's no. There's none of this gear anyway. So it's a rude awakening, but it feels good. I can feel the. I can feel the burning back of my legs. Uh, my boots are holding up wonderfully. My lowers, which I have been putting the miles in on them but not to this elevation <sighs> feels amazing absolutely amazing and it's peaceful as well and I know in the news and that and everyone was like oh no the Lake District is going to be like Butlins it's this and <laughs> the Lake District is massive mate and there's plenty of it to go around so don't worry about it share it mate look at it it's massive <laughs> you can't that it's not going to look like Glastonbury is it you can always find a remote spot in lakes. <laughs> this is what you call, look at, look at them bits, man. That is unruly, isn't it? There's no need for it. Sorry about it. So this is what you call, it's a classic example of a false summit. I knew it was a false summit though, so I didn't get me, it didn't shatter my dreams. This is what you might think is a summit and then Oh, hello, mate. There's more. Roger Moore. Crack on. It's a bit of a... Control-Alt-Delete down there. Beautiful nonetheless, but... You're not getting emailed your password if you fall off that one, are you? Gamover. No credits left. <laughs> Yeah, squad, have you got a good seat there? Let's have a look. I don't want to... Looks like you've got a good little viewpoint and I want to have a little look at what you're looking at. Skews out at road. Hey up, lads. Share it. <laughs> That's it. Don't knock me off, though. Look at that. Woohoo! Having that. Go on, then. We'll do one of these walk paths, then. Right, don't give away my tips lads. Right, 
We'll do one of these for camera. Only one though, I'm tired. Just ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Turn it round and just keep going like nothing's happened. I can't. <laughs> Even doing it as a joke's becoming a, like, where's, where does it end? What's the joke here? What's the joke? Sorry if I'm a bit sort of sycophantic and stuff, but oh, I genuinely haven't been, like a lot of you haven't been out for months, man. <laughs> and all this space and this freedom. It's empowering and emotional. They look even worse when they got sweat on them. Or do I look just like a Pat like I'm in Patagonia, one of them old school I like an old school climber with them just who don't give a shit anymore. Because <laughs> there's more important things than getting your hair cut. It turns out that was another false summit which was Bants and then... Can you see? Can you... Oh man, the sun's coming out. No, no. Are you having it? Oh. Cat for a Ken. Ken Barlow. So, you can see, see Windermere. You can even see the Irish Sea over in the distance. Let's work out where the sun's gonna go down and where she's gonna come up. She's gonna come up over yonder. I know that from past experience. I know what she's doing anyway. She's gonna go down over there. This looks like the spot for me. Right, there's a couple of things with the uh, Altro. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. First of all, let me tell you this. Being able to pack it into three separate bits and move it around your pack is pretty cool. Right then, young Barnet. Young Barnet, there ain't much, uh, there's not much in the way of like, uh, Ground. Is that alright? Be alright there, won't I? Door either side, so I can look over there. A lot of people were saying oh, I wouldn't want that tent because, you know, how would you pitch it in the rain when you've got to pitch the inner first? I did mention on the video that there are multiple ways to set it up. It's a semi freestanding tent and you can set it up out of first, which I'm going to do now. Clip it onto your bag. Otherwise, just ask the La Vista all the way to Irish City. Du, du, du. I can't, I don't know my ass from my elbow with it. Because there's not many people with these tents. Yet. This is why, because it's just a nightmare, isn't it? Is it? Absolute nightmare. Hold on. That is not right, is it? There you go, look, easy. There you go. <laughs> oh, come on. Ow. Tell you what, sea to summit. I'll be getting sea to summit else in a minute. We're getting another blooming tent. So there you go. I'm going to tighten it all up a little bit more and, and piss about with it, but as you can see, That's the outer pitched first, so you, and, and, and you could, on a nice day when you know you're not going to get obliterated by insects, you could just have this as a super lightweight option. I'm 7'4". Built like a freezer, built like a fridge freezer. And I have got, look at all that room. And you could just chuck this up quickly if you, you know, if you're out bike packing, dual door. It's got these. If you are just using the tarp, it's got these Velcro attachments so you can keep everything together in the right spot. Let's see how uh, how annoying it is to get this up. I've got a footprint for it as well, but. Might have left that at home like an e-jack. Yeah. 
left footprint at home. What a goose. What a goose. Left me. Oh well. George Orwell. Never mind. So, I'm in here. Right, it's pissing it down with rain. I'm sheltered. <laughs> I'm happy. I've had a look out of this little air vent. When you've blown this up as much, or one of these up, enough, you soon get fed up of it. Having this electric pump is a game changer. Flex tail gear. Now, I'll be using a lot of stuff on this video, so before you ask me what it is, I, everything is down below if you'd like to have a look. But this is, <laughs> there we go, look, electric. Can he remember how to do it? That's the question on everybody's lips. So, I think it's this plaggy one, isn't it? Of it of a schnizzle, like that, something like, come on, there we go, <laughs> oh you can just chill out, you can have your little glass of chardonnay, <laughs> little glass of pim, take your jacket off, and it, look there she goes, Real talk about 30 seconds to blow it up. Come here, you. Finish it off with a few authentic bits. Look at that. Can you see that? That's where I popped it when I uh, slept in, a, uh, uh, in an abandoned tunnel. And where... It looks a bit gammy around there. Oh well, it seems to be holding. This is the first time I've used it in the field. And it comes with loads of different adapters. Um, so it doesn't really matter what sort of... You don't have to have a thermarest. It can be any old airbed. Rubber doll, whatever you've got, and it just makes it so much easier, man. And especially if you've been doing like multi day hikes, you've done a good 20 mile in a day, you need all your gas, don't you? So perfect. You get these guy lines, which you can they're really easy just to hook in, and you can you can put them wherever you want depending on the direction of the wind. I've just put stones over where I couldn't get deep enough because of the, the rocky ground. Isn't she nice? Look at that. And uh, I'll open all the doors up in a bit. And I've put, so I've put two guys at the back and one here with an extra stone over the top of it. My thermo rest cut down. That's one of the best things, man. Just getting a, a Z light and just cutting the bottom four panels off it. You can still use the rest of it, the rest of it as a sleep pad, but this makes the perfect sit pad and porch and whatever for me anyway speaking of the porch what we got water i'm on the sea to summit because i've bought loads i've got loads of these for my um, long distance treks that are coming up so i thought i best i best try some out see if i get on with it salmon and broccoli and i got a custard apple crunch because why not I'm sorry Northern Monk if you're watching, I just didn't have, uh, I ran out, I don't have any Northern Monk beers, so I've got Hawkshead Brewery which is local, nice session IPA to start with, and I, <laughs> I, I won't drink, I won't drink all this but it's a really nice, um, it's a really nice bottle of slurp, no added sulphur, what are you doing adding sulphur in the first place? I've got my cook kit in there, so I can boil my water for my meals. I've got that, I mean, that's pretty much full. I know where there's a little water source not too far away from here, and I've got my water filter in case I need to go and get some. Moving into the tent, 
So it's spacious. It is spacious. <laughs> Bug. But you can see, look, that's me set up there. All my stuff with my big, uh, my extra large X-Therm in there. Um, you'd probably get another, you'd probably squeeze another one in there. It would be tight though. So I'm saying this is like two at a push if you're comfy with each other. But perfect for one man for lots of space. And for anyone who's not seen it before, you can, you use the bags, the bags that the tent and fly sheet come in they clip into the corners as uh, extra storage i've got my new pillow look i'm going with a a trekology just because it's so much bigger and the fact that it atta oh no houston we have a problem oh no she's going down oh no that's got to be that and it look at that it's all bubbling She's all bubbling. Right. Right, well, this is... So the X-Therm's going down, so I'm probably going to have a bit of a nightmare on that. So what I'll do... What I'll have to do is hopefully... I can put this under my hip. Uh, whatever spare clothes I've got under my hip. And I just have to rough it for tonight. Oh, well. I'll, I'll look for... See if I can find the hole. And I might have a bit of gaffer tape or something kicking about we'll try and do a try and uh, sort that out anyway I've got the sleeping bag is the Rab Ascent 900 because this time of year it can catch you out because look I mean it is beautiful but the weather can it, I mean the temperatures can drop considerably get well into the minuses um, and have frost and snow at this time of year so we've gone for the Rab Ascent 900 Trekology pillow. Looking forward to using that for the first time. Um, what I like about it is it attaches to the airbed. Look at the airbed going down, mate. Medic! And I don't know this tent yet. I'm still finding out about it. I do. I like it so far. I love the little features of it. I'm getting to grips with setting it up and putting it away, which we'll have a look at tomorrow morning. But I am looking forward to when it gets dark and too cold and it's time to batten down the hatches and get in the tent that's what uh, that's when you really get to know your tent when you spend a night in it hanging out in it so we'll see <laughs> but for now the skies are beautiful so let's try I'm gonna try and find out where the hole is in this airbed see if we can do a, a, a find some way to fix it if not cold ass at night this has been the longest i've not camped out in years man it's been a roller coaster it's been tough at times but i've just channeled my energy into other things and just changed gear knowing that it's always here is it? it's not going anywhere is it and um in many ways it's been good because it's nice to re-appreciate everything and this this doesn't go out to everyone because not everyone's into this sort of stuff not some people, you might be a professional gamer and you might be loving the fact that you're allowed to stay indoors and, and do your thing and that's that's ace. But for me, I need this. I need this for my mental well-being. And I know just because we're starting to come out the arse end of lockdown, it doesn't mean everything's all right and that everyone's all right because everyone's not all right. People who suffer with mental illness, it's exasperated and it's, you know, it's under a microscope for them or for for everyone uh, in their own little ways so still we still even more so we need to be compassionate as we come out of this because I mean, <laughs> people are left like wondering how you socialize do you want to socialize uh, existential crisis left right and center um, you know I've been reading some some things online about people who have or suffer from mental illness uh, it could be anything schizophrenia uh, eating disorders or whatever it is and being in lockdown without their coping mechanisms it becomes a nightmare and something really difficult to deal with and that is still going on so yeah definitely if that is you then I send you my love and um, we can all be and we should all still be compassionate and take what we've learnt you know if we've learned anything at all. I'm just waffling. I am just waffling. Not even had a sip yet. 
not even had a sip yet, mate. But all I'm saying is, it's just because it's lovely here and I'm loving it, it doesn't mean that I know people are suffering and I've got friends who have suffered. And um, luckily in this last lockdown, I haven't been too bad, so I've just been trying to do what I can for others and I've been trying to keep content the original and trying to make videos and stuff like that, but it's hard at times when you've got a full-time job as well. But these are the rewards. This is what it's all boiled down to for me. This is what I've been waiting for. In them, in, in them times when I've been like, oh man, I need to get out. I felt a bit claustrophobic. This is what I've thought about. Just sat on the side of a mountain with a can of, oh, stinky can of IPA. Is it IPA? Yeah, session IPA. And listen. Nothing. Peaceful, mate. Really peaceful. <sighs> yeah, so to everyone who's stuck with me through lockdown and carries on watching the videos and stuff, I salute you. And um, absent friends, cheers. Oh, oh yeah man that's delicious actually shout out hawk's head brewery very delicious oh mate <laughs> it's over much in it at times it's over much it's hard man making these films sometimes because i do enjoy it i do enjoy the whole process but at times you feel like you have to, <laughs> like, I'll just sit here for a while like that, like, oh. And then I forget, oh, yeah, you, I've got a, how are you doing, mate, and all that. Oh, my God, look at it. Look at it. Uh, are you having that? Uh, are you having that, look? That is, that's the one, isn't it? Look at that, man. Oh, mate, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, because I can't, can't get settings right. If it looks all right, it looks all right. I can't, it's too dazzling and I don't want to miss it. <laughs> One of them ones, innit? Oh, you're still there, mate. You're still there. You're having that. It's glorious again. It's glorious again, so I've got sweaty band on. Yeah? They laughed at me when I put this in my kit, but now look who's laughing. Round top. In, in so far and then let's go one two she's out oh wow smells good and then you just turn it upside down and it goes back on Oh man, that is nice, delicious. <laughs> Absent friends, my view. Just so uh, you can have a little goose, look. It's beautiful, it's absolutely stunning and sorry that I'm not showing you in it just now. I know there's people who've just tuned into this who've not watched any of my vids and are like, shut up mate. 
I want a seat view. You'll seat view in a minute when I get my drone up and that. I just want to have a little chat to you. It's been a while, hasn't it, since we've been out camping together, so it's nice to have a little chin wag and a, and a, and a toast uh, to absent friends and also to you lot. To everyone who watches and to everyone who puts in, um, who comments, the nice comments and nice messages and stuff. I'm sorry I can't get back to everyone. Like I always say, it's, it's, it gets a bit tough over all the platforms when people message you and I get, I get asked so many questions about kit and even like landscaping questions. I'm like, people asking me about patios and about doing the garden and all that and I, I can't keep up. So I'm sorry, I try and read as many as I can, but to everyone that I don't reply to, I'm sorry. It's not a personal thing and you know, don't take it personally. It's just that it's too, it's too much for me nogging to, to try and get back to everyone. So this is to you, to everyone who's struggled through lockdown, f to everyone who's still struggling in lockdown, I salute you. Much love. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That's uh, oh, that is good. That's just how I like it. That that's like woody, but also fruity. Let's not get bogged down on it though. Man, delightful. My battery's going. Yeah, just wanted to say. Um, is my battery going to go halfway through it? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to say, like, I recently did a video where I put together a kit for 240 quid. Um, like a beginner's bushcraft and wild camping kit. And I wanted to give that away over on Patreon, and I, but I really wanted it to go to someone who was going to use it and not to someone who was just going to chuck it on eBay and, um, and sell all the different parts of it. Um... And yeah, and that, so I put some on on Patreon. Uh, you know, comment down below as to why you would like it. And then I did a podcast with Joan, and we were going to choose someone. And it became too much. There was too many like it tugged on my heartstrings too much, and it was hard to choose someone. And it was hard to make a podcast about it because you can't you can't find the funny in it, you know, because it's people were being serious, and it was too much for me. I had a meltdown. Um, like, who am I going to give it to? And I remembered a while back... Hey, hope my corks just flew out. That's a sign. I remembered a while back someone on Facebook reaching out and sending me some pictures of a young lad with, um, doing bushcraft with his, with his old man and stuff like that. And I remembered it, and so it took me ages to find it, scrolling through my, my messages. But I found it. And I reached out and I said, would you mind if I give you, your lad, the, this kit? And um, she was buzzing about it. So I sent it to Jack and uh, then he sent, uh, they sent some lovely photos of him with his, with his rucksack on. You'll have to grow into it a little bit, I think. But I'm over the moon that it's gone to someone who, who will use it um, and have many, many a cool wild camp out with his dad because, you know, his mum said he goes wild camping with his dad. He likes to watch my videos and I couldn't be happier that it's gone to him. I think it's a, a worthy winner. So I just wanted everyone to know that's where that's where the bushcraft and wild camping kit went. A worthy winner. A very worthy winner to you, Jack. He's probably going to sell it, isn't he? He's probably going to bang it on eBay. <laughs> bang it on eBay, get into what, uh, Call of Duty and smoking blunts. <laughs> There's not a breath, man. There's hardly a breath of wind. Just absolutely still. I'm so lucky, I know I am, I know this is lucky.
Oh, the temperature has dropped dramatically. My digit Jones's diaries are killing. Ah. There is no capturing how, how good it looks in real life. And that's the beauty of it, I guess. It's like a private little look up Mother Nature's blouse. Stove of choice is the MSR pocket rocket. Torx 750 milliliter titanium pot. And I've got <laughs> some salmon and broccoli pasta. I've treated myself to a new. Look at that, man. Look at length of it. A Turx titanium spoon, a long one, so you can get into the bottom of your meal. I used to just cut it off with my knife, which, you can, which is easy enough to do, but it just saves me doing that long spoon. Where's the fill level? Where's the fill level? Here, it boiled already, that was quick. Here we go. Let's turn it off. Wonderful. Such a fast boil time. Roughly to be. There we are. Close it up and leave it for eight minutes. And this time of year when it's freezing outside, them eight minutes are spent with that as a little, oh, a hot water bottle. So you just stick that into your jumper, and let it heat your core, and that's what I'm gonna do. Summit to eat. Oh. Summit to bring life back into my fingers. Summit to eat. Get at me, Summit to eat. Sponsor me. Let's work something out. Uh, you know what I mean? Just peel a crab. Peel a crab pasta or something. Well, I'm looking forward to this. It's been a long day. Not had much to, to eat. She's moist. <laughs> Oh, she smells good. Got my, my mouth watering. That's a that's a chunk of broccoli. That get my head out of the way so you can appreciate me broccoli. Look at that. That's a right chunk of brox. Come here, broccoli Lesnar. Ooh, nice. Let's have a look at, where's um, 
salmon, salmon rusty. Decent chunks of salmon. Good texture, good flavour. Mmm, that's good. The pasta's holding well. And I'll enjoy this. And I'll enjoy some more wine. Might bring you back, might not. I think I found the hole in my airbed. I found a hole in my airbed. And the tent, I found in the peg bag of my tent, I'd something to repair the fly of the tent. So I've used that on the airbed and it seems to be working. Fingers crossed it holds out for the evening. So that's good. It's been a while since I've said this. Unless some magic or tragic happens, I shall see thee on the morrow. Morning glampers. <laughs> oh, sail through a bottle of wine. I didn't think I'd drink it all, but I got carried away. There's frost on the side at tent. And I'll tell you summer as well. Look at this. Tragedy. There's a few things with this tent that after spending a full night in it, I'm not quite happy about. I set my alarm, it's six o'clock. We're gonna have a look outside, see what's going in. I wasn't cold in the night. S slept soundly, broke my tent, which is a nightmare. Show you some of this. <laughs> Regard, eh? There it is, look. There it is. There's hardly a cloud in the sky. Oh, it's cold holding this thing. Oof. Just the air, man, it's fresh. Right, let me just start off with this, look. It broke, it's broke on the first outing. Now, is that human error? Because that has never happened to me in all my years of camping. Went to close the outer, as you pull it down, you get to there, and look how close it is, man. And that's just me, every time I just, Naturally grab it, pull it down, grab it, pull it down, it's just flirting so close with the zip. You see here, you can see there the, um, the seam seal is just sort of, it's just sort of peeling away already, which you know, I know that's only cosmetic, but it's just not a good sign, especially, look, right, and also these, which at first, so all the gimmicks in this tent, I first, at first um, I was thinking, great, what a great way to utilise the things that you don't use anymore, but this is pretty much, right, you put your torch in here, it's hard to get it in, the bag's just so long, there's no option to roll it up. The bag's just so long, like you, you put your torch in to the bottom of it and it's it's folded into it like that so you've got to get right into it to get your your whatever it is back out. This one isn't as bad because it's smaller but again you put your stuff in there you, you, you've all that space behind it so you might as well just ch chuck all your stuff in bag and then have it away in there. From the inside of the tent, it is very difficult to get these on. Because you're pushing, you, and you've got nothing, you've got nothing to push on the back of it, it's difficult. You can't get it on, look, it's, it's so frustrating to push. Which means, you have to open the inner. You have to open the inner, right? And imagine this in, Midgefield, Scotland. I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. 
you've got to put your hand outside the inner just to be able to push on the back of this on the back of the stud to get it on and then you go to the other side same thing you've got to open it and then oftentimes as you're doing this one the other one will come off <laughs> but it hasn't this time there you go you've got to go all the way around there and then it stops and then it gets rid of your, your the, it covers the loop, the light loop anyway, but I know you're gonna be putting a light in there. It, and then look, it just doesn't hold any weight, like, and I can see that. Look, now it can't, now I can't get it back on. I've got to open up my doors again and, and, uh, and put it on. So that, for me, it's just a frustration and a gimmick for gimmick's sake. Onto these, in the the um, the vent. Look at that! The how hard that is to get to. I'm moving the whole tent with my arm, and then I've got to open the other door and get round the other side to to continue with the zip. If that annoys me now, it's gonna it's gonna annoy me a lot more in the future, isn't it? I had a good night's kip, but. I fixed my airbed, which is good. Um, I was going to use a Compede, so luckily I didn't have to resort to that because I don't think that would have worked. So I'd, I was fine. I was warm enough. My sleeping bag kept me warm. I wanted to love it, and all these things would be forgive. I would forgive, and I would look at it in a lot of, in a different light if it wasn't, you know, over four hundred quid. It was over four hundred pounds for this tent, so it's it's a lot of money. And so you want it to be perfect and it just, is it worth, like, I don't know. I don't know. I guess this whole video, this video is, is, a, is a review of this tent as well as it being my first adventure out, which it is. It is and it is, I mean, look at it. It's going to be a glorious day. And this isn't, this isn't dampening my spirits. But it's the first time I've had this out. And it just goes to show, you know, it's... Uh, you can pitch up in your garden and you can have a good look at it and read reviews and everything and until you get out in it yourself and figure out the mechanics of it and just see and you know just see it for yourself you just don't know and if i'd have got this for 150 quid to if i'd have got this for under 200 quid 150 quid off aliexpress i'd be thinking ah oh, fair enough you know there's the the seams the, the seams coming away the mesh rips easy all these innovations are gimmicky I, I wouldn't mind i'd let it slide but for the price man i aren't letting it slide it's not good enough for me it's just not good enough and the hydro head i think it was 1200 it's not a very you know the floor is see-through it wasn't a wet night last night the ground even just outside here isn't wet for the money you'd want a better hydrostatic head just catching it that little bit has torn a big hole in it big enough to be flooded with midges so it's rendered the tent useless in scotland i'd have to get i'm gonna have to get that patched up before i sell it but i do think i'm gonna sell it wanted to love it and there is a lot to love about it man it isn't it packs so well it does pack away in your bag so well it's so light and it, i love the dual access and the room the vertical walls on the inner not the outer the vertical walls on the inner are, it's you know it's it's innovative there with the um, the way that the the poles on the inside drop make it so that you can drop it down vertically. So it feels like I've got loads of room, but I've also got loads of room in Milan Shan too, and that's under 150 quid. So in it, there you go. I'm going to pack away as if it was as if it was pissing it down outside because they do say that you can pack everything away from the inside first and leave the outer and it's uh, supposed to be quite an easy job to do so I'm going to do it like that as a trial I don't know how I'm going to how I'm going to show you me doing it but that's the inner packed away and it I didn't have to get out of the tent and there's the inner packed away and it's good because it comes in its separate bags, then that's, I can just pop that in me, 
in my backpack and I'm all ready to go. Sack that thing off. It dropped down all right, actually. I'll give it that. Let's cut. Oh no, I've turned my, turned my uh, blower on. What the fuck? I don't know what that was there. <laughs> Same yourself standing, see, you can. You can move it about a bit. Cool. <laughs> the light bar. Tell you what, mate. <laughs> I tell you what, the shite bar. Am I right? No, you shite. The shite bar. Keep it. Keep it, mate. You can keep your bar. You can keep your light bar, mate. Not bothered. Not bothered about it. And the things with the thing is with tents, like expensive tents, you don't know. You don't know. You can't take it for a test drive. You know, it's a lot of money to spend on summer, and then you don't really know it until you take it out. And then once you take it out, if you don't like it, that's it. You just have to to sell it and move on. And oftentimes. You, you make a loss, like I'm going to make a loss on this. So I obviously bought it out my own money and I'll, I'm going to have to sell it. I can't see them replacing it because it's all in, in the mesh. It was kind of my fault, wasn't it, because the zip caught. Oh, I just wanted a good two-man summer tent that was a bit, you know, something a little bit special for me summer trips. This isn't it. There, I've said it. This isn't it. one of the options just to make make it so that I can carry a few more things around my waist because the pockets on this thing are so great. I put my phone in there and it's attached to my anchor power pack. That fits in there nicely. Is it going to go over my belt? That's alright that. <laughs> Glorious mate. Let's have a double check, make sure I haven't left any any now we're good. We're good. Leave no trace. It's a little bit chilly because we're up top, but <laughs> it's glorious. And I tell you, summer as well. I love. And this is what this is what I'm practicing now again, just to get back into the swing of it. But having a decent walk, pitching up, having a night, and then getting up early everything in bag and away you go for another decent walk let's get to the top of there I'm heading down there to that to that body of water for a little bit of a, a dunk I'll do enough for my enough for my meal and then enough for a drink. <laughs> my foot my foot has gone numb. Jeez. 
Chicken fajita with rice. Yes, please. One, please. One chicken fajita with rice, please. Seal her up. Whew. And that'll be there. Oh, piping hot ready for when I get out. Ferociously fresh. That's one of the <laughs> oh, one of the coldest, one of the coldest dunks I've had. Definitely want it wind column for smugglers. I leave them to dry on the rocks. So I'm staying here for a few hours. Ah, <laughs> that tells me what. Let me meal. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Yes, what a fuck. Oh, what a time to be alive. <laughs> Nearly swore then. Nearly got too excited. Let's put my little bangles on. Just in case people don't think I'm a raging hippie. Full of stuff. There's kidney beans, sweet corn, peppers. Can you see all that? Mmm, oh, very good. <laughs> I was in there for a lot longer than it seems, or than it appears on the video. <sighs> in and out, mucking about with cameras and that one. I have a cup of coffee and then I'm going to do a little bit of sunbathing and then we'll head off out of here. Hey, mate. Big old bumblebee having a mm. of wine, look. There's now in there, mate. Chinned it all last night. Perhaps. Where is he on? Where are you? What's he doing? Yeah, mate. Come out. That's it. Onto me. Onto me. That's it. There we are. <laughs> Uh, maybe go for another swim a bit further down, have a bit of a sunbathe, just make a day of it. But I'm going to leave this one here. <laughs> and it has been a classic. I've enjoyed it. I've absolutely loved it, in fact. It's been so good to be back out. Oh, like, a, like a new lease of life being back out here doing what I love. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon for another video, hopefully. But take care of yourselves. Salute. See you later. Just gonna barefoot it out of here. Look at all these stones. Can we go around this way? I'll get this camera packed away. Take care. See you later. Well, I found this waterfall, mate, and it's. It's too nice not to go in this plunge pool, so I'll show you the beauty of it.
Vem, vem.